What is up guys, here inside of Tower Defense Simulator once again, and we are back with a new update. So as you can probably see, I have a different name tag now, uh, because there is the name tag update. So if we go to inventory, uh, I actually don't think it's here, um, uh, one second, wait for it to load. Uh, but you can buy them in the shop, um, so as you can see, tags right here. We have Sparkle Time, we have Rich, we have Sunset, Miami, Retro, Green, Orange, and then Noob. Um, Honestly, I don't really want to buy all these, so I'm probably not going to grind to get them all. Uh, because there's not really a point to. They don't do anything. Uh, and plus I already have the rare storm being, uh, the glitchy one, uh, right here. So, if you're wondering how you got this, uh, you can't anymore, but basically what you had to do, you had to win, uh, the old, uh, hidden wave, um, back before it got removed in the solar eclipse update. Um, so yeah, I did... So, I had the tag. Uh, if you didn't do it then, I don't think you'll ever be able to get this. However, there is rumor of a second hidden wave uh, coming back, so maybe you'll get it from there. I highly doubt it, though. Um, but yeah, they also, if you notice, they also redid uh, the private server elevators. So, now, you just get taken straight to the intermission lobby. Uh, there's also a few new maps, so let's, check a let's take a look at those. So, we have uh, the Heavens, Muskay Kingdom, Honey Valley, Happy Home of Robloxia, Enchanted Fortress, uh, Derelict Outpost, Atlas Coliseum. Uh, honestly, I've seen this one. It kind of looks like the one from Old Hardcore. Um, but I don't know. It, it might actually be. I don't know, though. We have Area 52, and then we have uh, Tropical Industries. Um, so, they also had some other changes. Triumph screen now displays your tower loadout. Uh, they added a new Game Pass store icon. Uh, they awarded Glitchy to Hidden Wave badge owners, which is what we just covered. And they fixed the daily skin shop rotation. We go up here. <coughs> um, well, uh, this is basically just the name tab tag section. Four rarities, common, uncommon, rare, legendary. That's all you really need to know. Um, so community maps, because these are these are all community maps. Uh, it's for only private servers, uh, but you can vote for a bunch of new community submitted maps in private servers. Um, the elevators, like we covered, are intermission ones. Uh, there's new map difficulty, uh, and the community maps use a different reward system, uh, which means that depending on the difficulty that you play on, or depending on the difficulty of map that you play on, uh, you'll actually get more points. So, for example, if I play, let's say that Grass Isles was um, a community a community map affected by this, and then a Fernal Abyss, or whatever the lava one with two paths is. Let's say that those are both community maps and that applies to them. By beating both of them on Molten, I'm going to get more from Infernal Abyss since it's classified as an insane map, whereas uh, Grass Isles is only classified as an easy map. But let's just hop right into the game, uh, and we can check out uh, probably one of the maps, honestly, I'm kind of most interested for Area 52, because if you know my channel, we played the Area 51 event, uh, as you can see, uh, right here, you gotta go fast, there we go, I played it, and I beat it, so yeah, I'm kind of interested to see if it's anything like Area 51. So we're here now, as you can see, there's different stars, um, pretty sure that was already there, but if you don't know how it works, basically it indicates a level of difficulty. There's also colored borders around maps, so for example, uh, you can tell that this is an insane map because it has a purple background, or a purple border. Uh, this is a normal map because it has a blue border, and then Ruby Escort is a hard map because it has a red border. Let's go over to the uh, map. So there's a new tab here, the community maps. Uh, we have Honey Valley. Kind of looks like the old, the first Easter event, not gonna lie. Happy Home of Robloxia kind of looks like one of the starter ones. Uh, from back when TDS was just made. Uh, Area 52, uh, checking it out now, it doesn't really look that epic, we might not do it. No offense to the developer. The Heavens also kind of looks like the Easter 2021 with the castle. Uh, Atlas Coliseum, already saw it. I, I feel like most people have. Enchanted Forest, kind of looks like Fungi Island, not gonna lie. Derelict Outpost, I kind of just see trees. Um, it looks pretty cool though, I might check it out later. And then, uh, Muskay Kingdom. Um, 
it, it kind of, I don't know how to describe it. There's I, there's one map, I forget what it's called. kind of looks like that map. Honestly, I might go Honey Valley. Not because it's a very easy map, but just because I like the aesthetic the most. So, it's actually, it's actually really cool. They actually put the rewards now. So, depending on, um, on the game that you choose, uh, it'll actually uh, show you your rewards. Also, yellow is the new very easy um, border, and it's zero stars. Uh, but it says rewards 70 to 420 coins and 50 to 100 experience. That's pretty cool. Uh, new reward system. Community maps using a new reward system. Uh, your coin reward will be different. Are you sure you want to vote for this map? Yes, I do, because we need to check it out. So we're just going to hop straight into this. Honestly, pretty excited to see what it has to offer. Uh, we might go fall in mode on this one. Um, cause I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident that we'll have the ability. It's an easy map. Um, so yeah, this, this actually looks a lot like the Easter event, not the line. Um, not, not the path, but the aesthetic really looks like it. There wasn't too many flowers, like these big flowers, but I saw a couple of small flowers like this. There's also colors like this and the beehives are directly taken from Swarmer, I believe. Um or something similar like that. Uh, so yeah, honestly, small map, but pretty cool map. Uh, so yeah, let's do Fallen Mode on it, and let's see if we can win. So we're on to Wave 10. As the map described, this has been quite easy so far. Um, maybe it's just because I have uh, one of the best starter chat, or basically the best starter chat in the game, or at least in my opinion. Um, but yeah, this, is, this hasn't really been too hard. Honestly, this is actually a really good map for beginners. Um, I would totally recommend this if you have a private server, because uh, this is actually not only really fun, but I can see it being really useful for beginners uh, to help grind on. The main reason why I think that this map is so easy is not because of how much it, it winds around, because if it just winded around but didn't have any like connection to it, it would still be, it would actually be kind of difficult, but the way that it winds around is it goes back and forth like this, so if you just put towers in this area, um, then basically they can just target the enemy at all times, uh, which is quite overpowered. Um, so, yeah, this is, like I said, this is going to be a really good map for players uh, to start grinding on, in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, I, I really like this map. Honestly, this might be one of my new favorites. I am noticing a glitch about this map. I don't know if you saw it there, but it seems like engineers... Um, yeah, see, engineers' uh, range hitboxes are a little bit off, I think, for the sentries. Uh, sometimes they just spawn in the air. So I don't know why that's happening, um, but I don't think it's supposed to. So, uh, developers, maybe fix that. They probably will next update. Um, but yeah, otherwise, this map seems perfect so far. And there he is, the Necromancer boss. Uh, shouldn't be too difficult to take down, we just gotta take down the tank. Take down the boomer. Uh, luckily, he got far enough to not really be able to do anything to us. Uh, so yeah, that should be just fine. And then everybody will target the necromancer boss. And he's gonna get shredded. And boom. And then we just have a bunch of giant bosses left, so they shouldn't really be too much of a problem. All right, so we're on to the final wave. We just have errors and giant bosses coming through. We have the fallen guardians. Honestly shouldn't be too hard, nothing's really gotten past here, so I don't really expect Fallen King to kill us. He probably will get pretty far, but not enough to kill us. Uh, but yeah, he did He did stun, that is uh, the only problem with this map, it's very small, so it ends up that if the boss stun, if the boss uses the stomp move, then everything kind of just gets stunned, because there's no room for it to not get stunned. That's a little bit unfortunate, but... Uh, it doesn't really matter, because we should still be fine anyways, maybe. Uh, Fallen Guardians are getting a little bit close. A little bit too close, honestly. Um, but, it seems like we should be just fine, because the Fallen King is getting shredded to pieces now. So, yeah, we, we appear to be fine. Uh, as long as we can just keep consistently dealing damage and he doesn't uh, use his stomp move a bunch, honestly, I think this is in the bag. Uh, just in case, though, we will place some towers back here. Uh, he's at half health, 
You just use the shields. Uh, one complaint that I have for this map while we're here, though, uh, is that you can't place on these little flower things. Uh, it's very annoying because it's clearly not a cliff space. This would be the cliff space. So it's kind of annoying that you can't place there. Uh, but otherwise, there's not really any issues I have with the map. Um, gonna, he's actually getting kind of far. Uh, but he's only at 20,000 health. 10,000. And 2,000, 1,000. He's dead. Uh, so yeah, that really wasn't too bad. Uh, honestly, probably my favorite map now. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to this channel, or you want to see some more Tower Defense content. If you want me to go over the other maps, let me know down below in the comments. And everybody, peace out.